All right, we're back here with this limit process, but first we're gonna ruin the movie before we watch it, okay? What is it called when you, what do you do when you have uh, exponents on the bottom? Can't you also consider those a negative exponent? Yeah. So did you know that I could consider this thing? Mm, come on, what's going on here? Okay, here we go. I could consider this 3x, to the negative second, okay? You agree? Yes. And now I, I told you the rule, I, I ruined the movie. The rule is you take the power to find the derivative, you take the power, multiply it by the front, so negative two times three times x, and then you reduce the power by one. What's one less than negative two? Negative three. And that's the same thing as negative six over x cubed. Bam. So it works. Crazy. Now you might be wondering, like, why am I even learning it this way? Well, I think it will connect you with the fact that the tangent line, we used really close secant lines to estimate the tangent line until we learned how to do the calculus tricks. It'll stop you from just doing the tricks and not knowing what the heck you're doing, like finding the slope of a tangent line. So that's why I was making you suffer through it. I didn't suffer through that in in high school or college that I remember, and I had no idea what I was doing. So we'll do it quickly. We're looking for the limit as delta x approaches zero. I'm not going to go back over the whole thing again. Yeah. And we're just going to do, okay, f of x plus delta x. So 3 over x plus delta x squared, okay? Um, minus f of x, 3 over x squared, all over delta x, okay? Now, man, x squared on the bottom, this is tough. So what we're going to do is get a common denominator, and we're not going to multiply anything out. So I'm going to multiply this one by x squared over x squared. What did I just multiply by? I multiplied by... By one. by one, I'm allowed to do that. Yes, and then this one, I'm going to multiply by x plus delta x squared over x plus delta x squared. And that is also, also one. one. Okay. So now let's just take a look at what we have. We have a common denominator, so we can combine this into a single fraction. I also want you to know that when you divide by delta x, Come on, dots. That's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over delta x. Just remember that. We're going to do that in our next step. Okay? So we have 3x squared minus 3 times x plus delta x squared all over x squared, x plus delta x squared, right? All over oh, yeah. delta x. Ugh, here we go. I'm just going to take some writing. All right, 3x squared minus 3 times, we got to do this again, x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over, I'm still going to leave it like that for now, x squared times x plus delta x squared. Because remember, eventually we're going to put in zero for our delta x, okay? And then times one over delta x. There, I just, I did this rule right here. Got it? Yep. Okay. So now, on the top, I've got 3x squared minus 3x squared uh, minus 6x delta x minus 3 delta x squared. all over x squared times x plus delta x squared
and then times 1 over delta x. So watch. What's 3x squared minus 3x squared? Zero. So that's gone. And then I guess I'll rewrite this because, well, look, here we go. Let's make this a regular delta x, Jude, and get rid of that. And now we just canceled that. So we're getting close to being able to plug in zero for delta x now. Let's just clean up the top. On the top, we have, oh, hold on, let's do one more thing. Oh, no, no, we can't. We have negative 6x minus 3 delta x all over x squared times x plus delta x squared. Now let's take the limit as delta x approaches zero. Let's do this. So this is the spot where we put it as zero for our delta x. What do you get on top? Uh, you get uh, zero for, this is zero for delta x. Okay, so it would be just negative 6x. Negative 6x, excellent. Now this is gone. It's a zero, Jude. So what's x squared times x squared? Um, it's x to the x to the fourth. This yeah, is why we took out for two. Add, yeah. Okay. Now look, this is not the same thing as this. What happened? What's x? Look, we can do this. Yeah, you can cancel the x. That's right. We can cancel one of the x's on top, or the x on top, with one of the x's on the bottom. So the final answer is negative 6 over x cubed. Now, here's like the good news. You're going to have to show your work on your test, and you're going to have to do this one time. Like this whole writing out. On the test, yeah. yeah. But you're going to be able to check your answer with the rules. Yeah. So it's not going to be – you're going to know what the answer is. Just so if you make a mistake, you're going to have to go back and fix it. Yeah. Okay? Boom.